See, as we time things out for you hour by hour, you can see some of those uh, broken lines of storms pushing on through by a 7, 8 o'clock here. And then as we get closer to a 10, 11, most of the area is a settling down. 11 o'clock is when the tornado watch comes to an end. And then we'll have enough clouds on the overnight, some cooler air making its appearance on Wednesday. We're talking about highs only in the middle 80s, lower humidity, a bit of a, a northwesterly breeze blowing. The forecast is pretty dry, though, as we do look ahead to the rest of the week here. Here is what looks to be a drone shot from our friend Chelsea out there in Tompkinsville. This is the original tornado warn storm, the first one of the afternoon as the storm moved into Monroe County. And we uh, certainly have a uh, pretty good looking structure to this storm. Looks like the shelf cloud here could definitely have a wall cloud within. You can see the uh, downburst of rain here. So what a uh, beautiful pick of what uh, turned out to be a pretty intense storm as it continued through Monroe County and areas further to the north. Temperatures right now are currently in the upper 70s and lower 80s. A bit hotter towards Burksville and Albany. We're feeling the humidity. The humidity is extra gross out there, but it will feel more comfortable though as we get in the middle of the week and even as temperatures do heat up later on this week and then into the weekend the humidity not going up in a huge way of course you can always get your latest forecast or your latest updates on the overall weather picture and how storms could be uh, impacting us. You can always get that forecast with the WBKO first alert weather app for tonight. Still hanging on to some of those storms, heavy rain, gusty winds, isolated tornado threat there up until about 11 o'clock or so. And then for your Wednesday, we will have those temperatures lower and middle 80s, a breezy wind during the afternoon. We're topping out around 86, close to 90 on uh, Thursday. We'll come out of those nights in the 60s and then you can see the real big heat building during the weekend and not really looking at much on the rain fronts into early next week.